Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from eLearning Portal. In today's video, I will show you how to improve the look and the feel of your course content. Okay, so here you'll see my course content. Uh, you need to scroll down to actually access the particular files or the quizzes or the whatever you need to access. You need to scroll down and click on that particular link and it will take you to that activity or that resource okay now what i'm going to show you today is actually going to improve the look and the feel of this course content now let's go into the course settings you'll see that we have course format which is currently set on topics format and then under appearance all you can do here is change the language and the other things here okay so let's go into Site Administration, then go to Appearance, and then scroll down to where you see Theme Settings. If you scroll down, you'll see that Allow Course Themes. If we enable that and save it, let's go to our course now. If we go to settings now, scroll down and under appearance, you'll see there's a new tab or a new uh, option available which says force theme. So the current theme that we're using is Academy and it the course uses that theme. But since we've enabled themes on our courses, we can now select a different theme for our course. Okay, so let's choose adaptable theme for this particular course. Let's scroll down and click on save and display. And here you'll see it makes a lot of difference to this particular course. Okay, yeah, you can see you still need to scroll down, but there's a tab system now that you can utilize. I really don't like this theme, um, so let's change it again, okay? So here you need to go to our course settings again, and then under course settings, appearance, and let's choose the almond theme, okay? Scroll down and click on save and display. Okay, that's looking more like it. Okay, so now, we can actually see there's the little, it's like a banner with our header or our heading for this section here. And then we have another section here with a heading and then all the sections. Yeah. Okay. So what we can do now, I like this style. Let's go into settings again. Remember, we're on the course format. We're on the topics format. So let's change this to the advisor course format and let's see what that does. Let's click on save and display. Okay, so now you see we still have our heading there. Then our activities. Also, there's little cards there with um, the various um, activities within the cards. So if you click on let's start, you'll see you'll go into that particular activities not really my cup of tea so let's go into settings again course format and let's choose multi-topic format and click on save and display now you can see okay so i can expand all collapse all i still have my banner there at the top so now if you look at this, if you scroll down, you'll see that these are all collapsed and you can actually expand it to your liking. Okay, this looks nice. Let's go to settings again. Let's choose a weekly format. Click on save and display. And now you'll see we still have our header here. And then we can actually expand and collapse every topic here. Okay, we can expand all or we can collapse all. 
and now it's neatly packed. So if the students are busy with this particular section, they only need to expand this section here and they can do the activities within this section. Okay, so let me show you how this is done. Let's go to Moodle.org and then go to Plugins. In our plugins, we go to Themes or Theme and here we can choose the theme we want to install. So let's say I want to install um, and light light theme. Okay, I'll open that. I'll make sure that it's the correct version of my Moodle installation. I'm currently running Moodle 4.0. So let's click download. It will download to my downloads folder on my computer. I'll go to my Moodle site. I'll click on site administration plugins and then install plugins and then I'll install the new theme let's click on continue here okay scroll down and click on continue remember we're not activating the theme we're only using the theme for the, that particular course I'll click on Upgrade Moodle Database and you'll see there's my theme that I'm installing now. Here I click on Continue. And that's it. I can actually scroll down to the bottom and click on Save Changes. Since I'm not going to use this theme only for my course. Okay, so let's go to our course now. Here's our course. There's my course. I go into my course settings. And then I'll scroll down and click on appearance. Click on where it says force theme. And then I'll choose my new theme that I've just installed. I'll scroll down and click on save and display. And here you'll see the new theme takes effect on this course. Still collapsible. Also not that bad because it's collapsible. Yeah, I think I like this one, clean. Okay. Remember, this will only take effect within the course that you've uh, enabled it, okay? Now, so let's close this down and that down. There's also a, a different route we can take, okay? Let's select within our plugins window, let's select course format. So it's under C, so there's course format. This is also a way to actually change your course format. Okay? Let's scroll down and I want to install this uh, trail format. Okay, So let's open this. So this course is really for the lower secondary students um, and it's really, it will motivate the students uh, the look and feel will motivate the students to actually participate in the course. Okay, so let's install that. Go to Site Administration. And then go to Plugins and then Install Plugins. Let's drag this there. And then click on Install. Let's go through the installation process. Scroll down and click Upgrade Moodle Database Now. You'll see there's the course format that we are installing now. Let's click on Continue. Okay, we can leave everything as is on its default and we'll click on Save Changes. Now, let's go to our course and activate that course format. go to settings and within settings remember it's course format and let's choose the trial format okay so now we can make changes here uh, but for now we'll leave it as is we can even change the colors 
So let's scroll down. We can set the trail uh, reset options. We can set the appearance. Also here yeah, we can change the theme and whatever. And then we can click on save and display. So for the activities, you'll see that there's a little trail running. So now the activities or the modules the students, you can actually add some images here and it will really look, look nice. Uh, the students will click on that particular section. It will take them to that section and they can do the activities within that section and will, it will be marked off as complete within that particular section. Okay, they move on to the next section. It's like a little road they are going through. Okay, so all your sections will then be in a nice appealing way for students to actually engage with the content um, because it's more visually appealing uh, but let me show you another trick let's go into settings and then so let's go into that trail format okay you'll see here the number of sections then the hidden sections then the course layout and then hide site navigation show lock when restricted and then the style so the style of the trail is currently on track now if you click on the drop down list you'll see there's a treasure so let's click on treasure and then click on save and you'll see what happens the track immediately changes to like a treasure hunt so it becomes a little treasure hunt that the learners need to follow to actually go and find the treasure at the end okay and as i've said you can actually add images to these little blocks okay. so how do we do that okay so let me show you how to change these images so that it looks more appealing so first we need to turn editing on and then you'll see when we scroll down now you'll see this little gear icon or the change image uh, name here underneath each of these blocks okay so let's click on that and immediately we can upload an image so let's go and fetch an image uh, let's go to my desktop there's some png images let's go for that image there upload it and then click on save changes okay so if we scroll down now you'll see there's my first image let's change this as well uh, let's choose another image. Let's go for that one there and save. Okay, if we scroll down now and now you'll see that it immediately changes the effect of this uh, little trail that we are moving through. And for the students to actually see how uh, they've completed this little trail, that's really exciting and motivating. So, yeah, so we currently, yeah, we move to that one there and then so forth and so forth. Also, if we want to change this, we go to settings again, scroll down and where it says appearance and then the end light, let's go to course format and then the style of the trail, we can choose the puzzle. And this is also really nice. Let's save and display. If we scroll down now, it's, you'll see it looks like a little puzzle that they need to complete. So basically you have two options available. You can either change the course format or you can change the theme for that particular course. So the course format will change under the course format tab. Yeah, you can choose a different course format or you can change the theme by going into appearance and then changing, forcing a theme on your particular course. Remember the theme doesn't change your Moodle look and feel, only the course that you are activating it in. Okay, and remember to activate it, to make it available within your courses, you need to go to site administration and then under appearance theme settings make sure that allow course themes is checked okay you can also 
allow category themes, but this is a um, topic for another video, okay? User themes, cohort themes, uh, any theme you like, you can activate within your Moodle installation.